Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast. Hi, everybody. Welcome back on uh, this Thursday. We started out with a few thunder showers up here to the north that quickly morphed into showers and then they morphed into just clouds. As you can see here, it looks like a lot of rain, but it really wasn't uh, mainly out here in McMullen and uh, parts of Live Oak County and northward. It was uh, added up to something around San Antonio, but not here and certainly never made it into the city. As you can see on our almanac where we had no rain today, we're only a third of an inch above normal now for the year. 84 degrees last night. That was the low temperature. Just incredible. 100 on the afternoon high. We tied the record high again today set back in 2017. So we've had two days in a row of record high temperatures and now five for the month of June. So indeed, it's been a hot month. You can thank El Nino for that. All right, 97 right now, east southeast winds uh, pretty low at 13 miles an hour and uh, 100 degrees in Orange Grove, 106 up there in Three Rivers. We've got 97 on our actual temperature with 105 further west in Freer and San Diego. And the feel like temperature hit 119 in Corpus Christi today. It's down to 117 now, and that is shared by uh, Premont, that number, and 111 from Sinton up to Refurio. So it's dangerous out there indeed, as it has been now for the last uh, two weeks. And you can see the uh, excessive heat warning out through 8 o'clock tonight. That'll be extended into tomorrow night for sure. Even though it's going to slowly start to back off a little bit, it's still going to stay dangerous. That's the message from me and the Weather Center tonight. Winds will slow down in the morning. They won't be blowing quite as bad as they were last night, feeding those storms up in San Antonio and Victoria. At 5 o'clock on uh, Friday, tomorrow afternoon, about 15 to 20. So uh, winds will break a little bit. They'll be fairly light here, 5 to 10 on Saturday morning. And then just a light to moderate breeze again on Saturday afternoon. So not up to 20, so that's the windy category, but it's certainly going to be breezy. And as far as the excessive uh, heat risk, this is Friday. 15, uh, 115 to 120. Saturday looks to be a hair less than that, so we're slowly starting to improve, but still very high to extreme across the region, including Corpus Christi. Feel like temperature stays in the 90s tonight. Uh, it pushes 114 mid-afternoon tomorrow. If you'll recall from yesterday, that number was 117 to 118, depending on which uh, weathercast you were watching here. And then you can see how we've got this surge of uh, high clouds coming into the uh, northern part of the coastal bend right now. That's from storms that were up here to the north, and that's because the high has gone from here at the beginning of the week out to the west near Laredo and Sonora along this frontal system, firing some storms there headed into east Texas. But we're not seeing any of that because of high pressure, but we're getting a little bit of activity from the north. But I think all of that essentially stays to the north. As you can see on our opportunity for rain, it nudged up a hair there uh, this morning, but that's back down uh, all the way through the middle to end of next week as high pressure stays put at least for the next couple of days. And then as we get to Sunday, it starts to lift a little bit to the north. And eventually this is going to go way north and uh, open up the Gulf. And that's when we'll start to see at least a few showers. Speaking of showers, we've got a couple systems out here in, working in the Atlantic. This is Brett, of course, that's going to run into wind shear pretty soon. It is a tropical storm. And this right here is going to be Cindy, but that's tropical depression number four. So here's the uh, Brett forecast. And Cindy is yet to form, but that system will stay in the Atlantic. It will not move into the Caribbean Sea like Brett will. All right, so here is the seven-day forecast. 98 sizzling again the next couple of days. 97 Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. And only 96 here Wednesday and Thursday with sunshine next week. But no significant rain is expected over the next seven days. We'll have more with Pat right after this.